Scams of all kinds are becoming a big problem for a lot of people. Just this week, Medford police say one man almost became a victim when someone filed taxes under his name. Fortunately, there was a hiccup with the money transfer and the right person got the tax return. Tax fraud, one of many scams prevalent in our community. Tax scams are no surprise to Annette Holman at Liberty Tax Service in the Medford Center. There has definitely been an increase. While Holman says none of her clients have had any problems, tax fraud is a big issue. People's identities are being taken, so it's a scary thing. On Thursday, Medford police even issued a warning on social media. It seems like the scam artists are just relentless. Police telling people about popular scams. They're just really hitting a lot of folks in various different ways. One tactic that's being used, posing as a buyer on sites like Craigslist. Often the scammer claims they sent too much money for whatever they're purchasing. Anytime they overpay you and you have to send money back to them, it's a scam 100% of the time. And another big scam, someone calling pretending to be with the IRS, threatening you, saying you owe them money. But Lieutenant Mike Boudreau with the Medford Police Department says one of the red flags. Then when you find out that your the method of payment is going to be by these green dot or prepaid visa cards, then you finally realize it's a scam. Boudreau says government agencies don't put out threatening phone calls. And if you think a scammer is trying to get the best of you, just hang up. Victims of a scam can call police, but others who believe they've been contacted by someone who may be a scammer can report it to the Federal Internet Crime Complaint Center. We'll post a link on our website, kobi5.com. We'll also post information on other scams to look out for.